super soft and plush. It's, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. And we're back with your gearheads. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about our three picks for freestyle, all mountain, and big mountain boots this year. Talking snowboard boots here. Keep an eye out on, on the lower tab there for timestamps if you've got a specific boot you're curious about. And let us know in the comments, do you want us to do longer term reviews on any of these boots or get these on the snow this season? Let's dive into it, Sam. First, what are we starting with? Uh, we're gonna start off with our freestyle boot. Awesome. This thing is, uh, Pretty noticeable. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> brand new for this winter, a Danny Cass Pro Model, which is sort of, uh, you know, the last time he was sponsored by Vans was 10 years ago. So welcome back, Danny. Based off of Danny's riding, obviously, in the park, booters, he's so stylish. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think he's looking for in a boot? And what have they done to this boot to make it up to his standards? Kind of a few things. We've got a collab smart wool liner. Looks cozy and probably moisture wicking and my guess would be antimicrobial, knowing smart wool. Totally. So in addition to that smart wool liner, uh, we've got dual boa, um, which is gonna separate your lockdown more for your lower foot, um, your ankle hold, and then up here as well. Protecting the upper channel, we've got the visor and this gaiter. That's gonna help keep your feet dry, additional protection. And what I also really like is the seamless toe. So for your toe strap, that's just gonna hold down. There's even some tackiness here, just to lay that down. Being a freestyle oriented boot, this is gonna have a really nice mid flex. Danny, he likes to tweak on his snowboard. This is gonna allow you the flexibility and the movement um, to really move that and contort that snowboard. Some other details here. We've got a pretty sweet um, kind of cinch for this gator cuff to kind of keep that all a nice tight package there. In typical Vans fashion, some great grip on the bottom, kind of allowing you whether you're hiking sessions in the park or just kind of cruising across an icy parking lot to get to the, to the chairlift, so. Being a skateboard company as well, you're gonna get a lot of board feel. That's really important going to edge to edge, feeling the board and feeling what's underneath you. Who's this boot for? Obviously Danny Cass. Obviously Danny Cass. This boot's for, you know, the jumper the person that's gonna be spending time on rails. I think from a cosmetic standpoint, you're really gonna stand out in this boot. Sweet, well uh, check this boot out. Uh, the Danny Cast Pro model from Vans um, is our top freestyle pick for the season. So moving on to Big Mountain, mm -hmm. this thing. Another option from Vans, the Infuse. This is a pretty military inspired, <laughs> wild looking boot. Uh, I, I really like it. I know I do too. It's also not typical Vans grip on the bottom, and a lot going on to unpack here. So Sam, there is. hit us with uh, the details on this infused boot from Vans. I would go to say that this could be the most versatile, adaptable snowboard boot on the market. Speaking of versatility, Vans has gone as far to say in their scale of one to 10, 10 being the stiffest, uh, this boot can range between five to nine. What's going on there? A little bit of everything. Um, so what I love about this boot is you've got boa with lace. You know, lace, you can really customize the tension, whether you want that lower or higher, or, you know, ratchet all the way up. Mm -hmm. And uh, the boa is really to lock in your, um, your heel and your ankle. There's virtually, you know, no heel lift, um, which really helps with the efficiency of turn initiation. Furthermore, we've got these tongue stiffeners. What I like to do is, as you're breaking the boot in, as it's brand new, take these out. As you start to break in the boot, you can put them back in if you want that extra stiffness. And how many stiffness kind of levels do you think those add? Like two, one, two, three? They're, they're pretty rigid. Yeah. You know, you can even take one out and leave one in. That's probably how you get to the six. And then the last part is this power strap. Pretty uncommon for snowboard boots, honestly. Yeah, it almost pays homage to boots from back in the day. Yeah. You can really customize the, the support by cranking that up or going a little bit looser. Yeah, I would like to give Vans a shout out here. I mean, they've come a long way in their manufacturing of snowboard boots. They just look, the fit and finish mm -hmm. is really, really clean. They look amazing. 
They're very durable boots. So definitely recommend this boot for someone that's putting in a lot of days on the slopes and is doing a lot of different styles of riding. Including split boarding. Whether you're hitting the backcountry this season, doing some side country laps, want to soften it up and take these tongues out and do some park laps or just jibbing around on a sunny bluebird day at the resort without any fresh snow. I mean, this boot seems like it's for you. I guess that kind of covers who this boot's for. Let's move on from Big Mountain, which I would almost classify as kind of our do-it-all category in terms of this video, Yeah. Um, to more of an all-mountain pick. Moving on to our lightest option. Sure is, right? Yeah, you can feel that. Cow. We've got the 32 STW Double Boa. Give us some details on this offering from 32, our all-mountain pick for the year. I mean, I think the, the thing that you feel immediately is the weight. Extremely lightweight. I feel like for someone looking to have, whether it's swing weight or just a bit of a lighter setup, also being an all-mountain boot that's more of like a mid-flex, mm -hmm. you can also maybe go for some touring laps in this thing. And it's a comfortable, light option for some touring. What's wonderful about this boot really is the simplicity. Everything works, whether it be the double boa. Another thing that stands out with 32 is that they do their one-to-one -one lasting, which is to say if it's a half size, they don't just put a thicker liner in there. It's actually a half size boot. As you can see here as well, it's kind of that midpoint of traction as well with the base. Not as grippy as the Infuse, which you might be looking to do more big mountain side country mountain op stuff with. Not as minimal as maybe a freestyle boot like the Danny Cast from Vans. You got your heat molded liner and an internal cinch here to kind of maximize that comfort and fit. Who's this boot for? For the rider that doesn't necessarily put themselves in, I'm a park rat, I'm a free rider, this is the boot that, that can do it all. And it's also available in a, a lot of colors. Nice, looking for a versatile, price-friendly, super lightweight, all-mountain boot for this season, check out this 32 STW Double Boa. So that's it on our top pick from each the freestyle, big mountain, and all-mountain categories for snowboard boots. Make sure you guys reach out to a gearhead if there's any boots you didn't see in this video, and drop a comment uh, if you'd like to see some more longer-term reviews on different snowboard boots this season. Like, comment, and subscribe because we have oodles of more videos, whether you're a skier, Snowboarder, looking to get into the winter sports activities where we break down skis, boards, boots, Abbey safety equipment, and there's an upcoming splitboard video too on the horizon. So thanks Sam for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Winter is coming. We'll see you guys out there.